So at the World Government Summit, all the governments, or many of them in the world, are coming together to talk about a variety of problems and seek solutions. Solutions that require partnerships. They require transparencies on what countries uh, are doing and, and the kind of problems that they're uh, having that we can work together on. You know, no country is isolated anymore. Our financial systems are tied together. We all acquire fish out of the ocean. We all breathe the same atmosphere. And so these are things that connect us all that we have to work together when there are some really big problems. Well, I think every government ought to begin the process of leveraging and using the new AI technologies. We should not be afraid of them because they're here to stay, but we need to use them in a way that we understand the results that come from them. Some of the results may be wrong. Some of the results may be quite exciting, new ideas, and we wanna be able to delineate those two and then go for the new and exciting ideas that AI could provide to us. AI is not gonna rule the future the way we think about it. I mean, you have to recognize there's been many uh, IT, information technology revolutions that have occurred, such as the internet. Did that destroy our, our abilities to communicate? No, it enhanced them. Uh, what about Wikipedia? What about Google searches? What about all these new applications that have come out, social media? What has that done? It has enabled us to communicate more broadly over many different countries, share our experiences, but also we should revel in our own cultures. We should preserve our own cultures because it also makes us unique and provides new and unique experiences that when we combine them, new solutions come out. AI is just one element of that.